This is Lana. She fell in love with Sean. We had a really good connection from the beginning. We decided to move in together. And fly all the way to Spain to live in a new True. country. <laughs> True. But their love is not exclusive. The couple are proud members of the swinging community. I felt a little insecure when he first asked me but I was willing to try and now I'm really glad that I did. Tonight, Lana and Sean will be hosting a swingers party for the very first time. But how will they break the news to their neighbours? Our friend Ricky, today we're going to explain to him uh, our lifestyle. Hopefully he becomes another swinger. We are open to anybody wanting to be with us in a relationship. Morning. Hey, we met on a vegan dating site in the UK. It was all very organic and it felt like we knew each other from our previous life. At the beginning, our relationship was pretty normal, let's say. I knew I wanted something different, but because she was more traditional when it comes to relationships, we took it slow. Six months later, we decided to open the relationship and started swinging. When Sean said that he wanted to open a relationship, I was a little bit offended, to be honest. I felt like, um, why, why is that? Like, am I not enough uh, by myself? I want my girlfriend to always be happy and satisfied with whatever she needs. And on the other hand, of course, I wanted that freedom and no anxiety to do whatever I want as well. For me, jealousy has been a problem sometimes, but over the last year especially, my jealousy has gone down to almost never getting triggered. And I think the important part is to always communicate straight away and never let something bottle up. From the first time that we did swinging together, uh, I was supposed to just watch the experience that he was having. I got really hooked and from then on it was me wanting to go forward with the process. <laughs> and now I'm really glad that I did because I'm much happier. The couple have decided to take it one step further. We are going to organise a... our first swingers party today. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some people coming that's their first ever time. It is a little bit nerve wracking, obviously, like making our very first event. We want everybody to have a really good time. There we go. The whips. Uh, the lead. Some people. You mean you? And the magic toy. So that this is it? Yeah, and the glow in the dark ring. It will be like a little neon disco later. But before the party can begin, the couple have arranged some pre-drinks with some local friends, hoping they might be able to entice some new members into their swinging circle. We're going to ask Keith to join our swingers party because we know him really well. And I know he's going to fit really well yeah. in this. Our friend Ricky, uh, he's our personal trainer. Today we're going to explain to him uh, our lifestyle. Uh, swinging. He's a bit more conservative when it comes to those kind of things. Hopefully he becomes another swinger. <laughs> another one. I can't <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> I think the first time I did meet Lana and Sean, that was, I think the first topic of conversation was about <laughs> Do you know what I mean? For me it's starting off on a bad foot when you meet someone and that's one of the first things they, they spoke about. My worst nightmare is having to share someone that I care and love about. If I had a partner and I fell in love and she went, can I sleep with another man? That would break my heart. What about the closeness that a human I connection I, requires? I don't, I don't think that one thing excludes the other. I think you can be open and you can still have emotions towards people. I think they've been very brave. I think they've been very innovative. So, wh what is it then? What, what is it about the swinging like? Is there no jealousy there? Uh, not for us. Well, no. she started being a bit jealous, but she has yeah. evolved a lot more and uh, I think we're in a really good situation. But are you not scared that someone might just take one of you away? No, I think uh, after a lot of communication with, between us, we understand how much we enjoy each other. And anyway, we are open to polyamory as well. It's not a hard no to anybody wanting to be with us in a relationship. While the pair might not have managed to persuade their trainer Ricky into joining them, they have one new RSVP to their party later. How did you think that went last night? 
it was pretty crazy. Uh, of course, it was a success as we expected. Yeah, it was so good. It when was it definitely to... my favorite night yeah. of swinging so far, which yeah. was amazing because I thought us being the host, we wouldn't maybe be able to enjoy it as much because we having to look after everybody, but it just flowed so well. I don't think we'll ever go back to monogamy. This world is too good, it is too much fun, it builds so much passion. Mm. You don't want to get into your later life and have regrets, so mm -hmm. live your life to the fullest. And um, don't think that swinging is just for these like weird people. There's really great people out there, people that you wouldn't think that do it. Once you're all naked, you're all equal, and I think that's beautiful. Just don't care about what people think and say. If you want to do something, just do it.